All they gotta do is hear you. That way when they get up, they know where they're going. We don't want any doubt in their plans or their strategy. See? Hey, did you hear her? Soon as I get out of this hole, I'm going to see her. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you want them thinking. You want them sitting over there thinking, hey, there's a bunch of guys over there just rummaging around. Listen to them. No, they're sitting over there going, hey, maybe oh, they wasn't here. Up. Yeah, here she comes. Let her know you're here. Come on. You know, I've hunted other animals, and I've, uh, you know, I've hog hunted, I've deer hunted, and uh, and when I got into duck hunting, it just it just brought that passion back to where it just felt like Friday night lights again. And it's it's the drive of getting up early and, and getting to the hole and, and making sure things are right and everything has to be right just for duck hunting. I get consumed a lot of times in the moment. I enjoy the game of, of back and forth, you know, when you hit that call and she hollers back at you and they start working, you know, it's just, that's good stuff for me. I was born and raised in White House, Texas, so I've, I've lived here my entire life. Played baseball since I was three years old. Um, was probably the first love of my life and been doing that ever since. And I uh, went to junior college for two years, went to Texas Tech for a year, and then got drafted by the Indians. and. Uh, been with them since 2006. Getting to come home and right at duck season and, and get to stay here the whole off season and duck hunting and work out here is, is perfect for me. Well, I'm more of the entertainment, sometimes a sharpshooter when I'm on my A game, which is a lot. I'm not going to call whenever they're calling just because, you know, I don't want to show them up. Otherwise, they do a hell of a job and I'm not going to, you know, interfere with it and I'm just going to kill. We nicknamed him the bird watcher because he loves to call in ducks, he loves to set them down. But me, uh, my passion is I love to find them. I like to do the research to find them, find out where they're at, what they're doing. Because a lot of people don't realize 10 to 20 yards is a long ways in duck hunting. You know, you, you know, it can make the difference between a 30 yard shot or a 50 yard shot. So you want to make sure you're on the X. through a mutual friend of ours deer hunting and I told him you know my, I really like to duck hunt he said man I got this guy that eats sleeps and breathes duck hunting you know so we used to kid about him you, you know you like you like the doctor of duck hunting man it's just it was almost stupid and uh, it, it just stuck things in the world change so fast technology and and uh, I mean, everything's so rapidly advancing. It seems like when you duck hunt, okay. it just, it's like slamming on the brakes. I mean, we, we go, you know, as, as deep as we can and work as hard as we can to get as far as we can from civilization to find birds. Migratory birds, you're not guaranteed they're going to be there the next day, even though you saw them the day before. And to me personally, it's a challenge to get there to that spot and, and, and have successful hunts. And wherever over there is, we're not only going to find it, but he's going to find out why they're there. You know, what is it about this spot that attracts ducks? I 
envision the work, work of a doctor. You know, it's just the study that goes into this thing is uh, it's incredible. I mean, you, you just can't show up where everybody else is and expect to do great things. You know, with, with all the, the homework that we all put in, especially Dennis and Billy, and, uh, it really took it to another level. I like doing research. I, I like to know why ducks land in this spot. How come this spot looks the same as this spot, but why they pick this spot? The day season closes to the day season opens, he's got a timer on his phone. And he calls me or texts me about every three days. We've got 206 days, 40 hours, and 17 minutes to opening day. They're coming in hot and coming across your face, and you got to lead them a certain amount of distance and kill them. It's that to me is the fun part about it, and that's what's unique about it. It's more of a challenge and it's, it's harder work. Ducks start getting shot up north in October, and the time they get down to Texas, they're so well educated on the blinds. I don't care how well you got them brushed out, you, you might have one good successful hunt, but those mallards are really smart. They'll they'll start to know exactly where the shotgun range is, and then flare off and then go land somewhere else. We're all about concealment painting her face, making sure her hands are covered, getting tucked down in the water, not standing straight up. If you noticed, every one of us was kneeled down inside the water, staying below brush level. You're out there with good friends, and it just don't get any better. Hearing that alarm clock going off between three and four, and hearing these guys on the phone, just more excited than I am about going to a duck hole. It motivates me to do what I do. It motivates me to go scout because of the excitement that they have and the fun they have and the smiles that they have at the end of the day, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's everything worthwhile.